you get? Sage and Panana. I don't know, give it all that. Still have now, the Y. Works there, Steve will like you. Steve will hate you. This big one, I get all the arts, Steve will tell you. Black hole lamps, Steve will like you. Some sham new. That was her traditional welcome in her inter traditional introduction. And it's usually longer and includes who our family relations are in terms of our parents and grandparents. We do it to situate ourselves and to provide relational accountability for, uh, for who uh, we speak in front of. The translation is honored guests, matriarchs, and people of the community. I'm happy to be here. My name is Bill Hamna, which means Pearl, the inside of the Abilone show on the fin of the killer whale. I come from the house of Laos, and I'm from the Gitwold Yachts tribe. My crest is killer whale, and I'm from Lockwell Labs. As this may be the first introduction to me, of me to some of you, I'd like to share a little bit about myself. I come from a strong line of women who have demonstrated to me the strength in the face of adversity, and men who have been my champions and encouraged me to be whoever it is I wish to be. I'm a mother of two beautiful daughters and wife of a very supportive husband, for which it is birthday today. Happy birthday. <laughs> I work at Ridley Terminals as a corporate affairs manager, and I'm also the owner of a small business, Silver Grizzly Transportation. In addition to being on the board of the chamber, I'm also on the board of the Friendship House and on the board of the Women's Leadership Network. I believe community service is important, and everyone has a role to play in their own special way. I like challenges, and I challenge myself every day. Becoming the chamber president was one of those challenges. I could have chose to sit on the sidelines and watch and let others do it. Or I could, I could be the change I want to see in the community in which I live and work. And that is what I chose to do and offer myself. My passion, what drives me to continue down the path I'm on is equality. Equity for Aboriginal people and for women. Many think this is exclusionary, but for equality to occur, it has to start with the conversation of every human being. The statistics are appalling, but I will recognize they are getting better. And because people like all of you in this room are willing to have those conversations and take action to make those necessary changes. I learned that vulnerability is a strength. It reminds us every day that we are human and not machines. That we are, have feelings and it's okay to share them. I do admit that I do feel fear at certain situations, but I push forward despite feeling uncomfortable because there are two very important people watching me, my daughters, Anna and Claire. They have seen my strengths, my fears, my passions, my sadness, but most importantly, my courage. I just put one foot in front of the other, and when it feels like I'm wading knee deep in mud, keep, I keep trudging along, so they have a clearer path to walk behind me, just as my ancestors did before me. The face of Prince Rupert is changing. Our population is now almost 50% First Nations, probably for the first time since settlement. It's important for the people and businesses to recognize what comes with that change. Opinions, attitudes, perspectives must change, and the culture of the Aboriginal people will change the way that we do business in this town. Culture and economic development have to run parallel to each other. With economic development roaring at a fast and aggressive pace, culture has to be part of that. A clear understanding of the culture of the people of this territory, the Simshan, needs to happen at all levels of business. Recently, a reconciliation poll was raised at UBC to symbolize the coming together of all people on mutually respectful, genuine relationships. It stands as a symbol of bringing acknowledgement and an awareness of what happened in the past and a promise of action to change the behavior moving forward. I'd like to use this as a metaphor of how we do business at the Chamber. We have noticed that our Chamber board is mostly women, and we now have three First Nations people on our board. I'm extremely proud of that. The perception of the chamber, as Keith has said, is changing. It is not the old boys club uh, as it once is perceived to be. And I'm happy to be part of that change. Also, as stated at last month's chamber meeting, our, our chamber will be recognizing National Aboriginal Day as a staff holiday, and our office will be closed so our staff can celebrate and participate in the events of the day. Our chamber has seen steady growth and we have had many other chambers asking to borrow our ideas in, in their area, and we have always been happy to share what works for us. Building relationships is key to doing business. This includes relationships with our employees, our customers, and other businesses. 
I'd like to see all the member businesses of the Chamber champion each other and promote and refer their customers to all of the businesses in Prince Rupert because that's the type of community Prince Rupert is and we will continue to be. When one business thrives, it creates the opportunity for another business to thrive and a ripple effect occurs. Our lives get really busy, but I challenge all of you to take the time to visit the storefronts, get to know the service providers that are in our town, and talk up at least three of those businesses to another person every week. If we can do this, we will see the businesses grow on, on a yearly basis. I'm excited to be part of this amazing team. Chamber staff and volunteers make some really amazing events happen every year. I'd like to extend my appreciation to the outgoing chamber directors for their contributions to the chamber and to welcome the new directors to the board. This is going to be an exciting year and I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Thank you.